So these days Chromebooks are getting more and more popular as we all are working and learning from home and they can be really good for all the light tasks and other professional work. But some people are in a doubt to go with this Chromebook duet or just buy a basic laptop or any other tablet and how well this one does for your BGMI and other games. So don't worry, I'll answer it all for you. But before we go into that, make sure to tap on that subscribe button as it really helps the channel out. And by the way, I already made an unboxing and an early impression video of this one. So feel free to check it out for all the things and features that you get with this one. So let's have a close look at this Chromebook duet and starting off with the first question that many of you asked. Is this a laptop replacement? And how is the performance on this one? Well, first up, it will do all the basic tasks just like a basic tab would do, as it has that MediaTek Helio P60 processor. So on Geekbench, the device scores 276 in single core and 1295 in the multi-core score. So this isn't by any means a laptop replacement. But if you want to run applications like VS Code, well, it works fine. It can run Java and other Linux based applications as well. But the speed of compilation is a bit on the slower side and if you browse some more tabs along with it, it will be even slower. So I recommend it for basic coding only. You can run 2-3 to three apps easily on this one and here is how Zoom and Microsoft Teams application look like. Thirdly, the applications like Marrow is supported and you can see it works fine as many of you Medico guys asked for the same. So I hope I got you covered and you can let me know in the comment section. Also, if you're wondering about the stylus support, well, yes, USI stylus is supported and you can take notes with it. And I'll drop a link to the supported stylus in the description area itself, which will cost you around 4000 roughly. In the design and inherent feel, this Chromebook feels amazingly good and the weight balance is done perfectly on this one. Now about the BGMI test, well, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of playing BGMI on a tablet. But surprisingly, it can run it on smooth and extreme graphic settings. And the game runs really fine for a processor that is not so new. And there are of course dropped frames here and there. And it is not a smooth experience in all scenarios. But hey, the game is definitely playable and supports smooth and extreme settings, which I don't usually see in tabs at this price point. The games like Asphalt 9 ran just fine all this time with decent FPS and gameplay. And it all tells how well optimized this tab is for using all the resources wisely. Next up the camera quality and I would say it's strictly there to take video calls and attend zoom calls at the max. And the quality here is mediocre and should have been better. But that's how it is. About the software now and I've been getting monthly updates and patches on this one as it runs on Chrome OS 92 now. And that has a lot of features. Plus it can connect with your phone to keep everything in sync, something I personally love. And if you want me to make another video on the features of Chrome OS, well do let me know in the comment section down below. Now about the quality of kickstand and keyboard. Well after all this time, it has been nothing short of great, as it is slim and hey, it comes for free in the box. It is a bit cramped, yeah, and might not be that comfortable for everyone. So you can buy a Bluetooth keyboard and work with that, but I find this one to be pretty usable and good along with great feedback and handy shortcuts. So yes, for a freebie, well no issues there. The kickstand is also durable and has started to wear and tear slightly, but I appreciate the way it connects with magnets. The speaker quality isn't that good and loud, but it is usable for the most part and the media consumption is decent enough, but leaves a little room for improvement to be honest. Lastly about the casting feature or extending it to a second display. And yes, that is definitely supported by this tab. And you can extend your display with an HDMI dongle and I'll drop a link to that as well in the description area. So the max resolution is 1080p at 30fps and that is a bit on the lower side. Now if you're thinking to buy this tab at 24 25000 well I still recommend it to those who are strictly looking for a Chromebook and a tablet both. As it is good at both of those things. And if I compare it with the new ones from ASUS, well this one has 64GB more internal storage and the portability factor is a big plus. But you will get a better performance and more laptop like vibe from the ASUS one. As you get more ports and even faster charging on that one with SD card support. So for those looking for a hybrid for light tasks, well you can have a look at your requirements 
and you will be good to go with this one and that's it for this video so if you do end up liking this one make sure you subscribe to the channel and like and share this video with your friends so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one